Tonight, we're sitting down one on one with Katya Sobel. She is a skin care expert and co founder of Gloves in a Bottle and Skin MD. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate your time, Katya. I'm happy to be here. And this is important. We want to share some pictures of a problem that a lot of people might be facing right now because they're wearing masks for long periods of time. And it's got a, a phrase, even. It's called maskne. What is maskne and what causes it? Well, maskne is basically a play of words. It comes from mask over usage and uh, what causes acne. So what happens is now we're all in masks all day long. So when, um, you know, your skin can get inflammated, it's hot, maybe it doesn't even breathe. And what happens is uh, there's bacteria and, you, you know, the skin just starts breaking out. So you get breakouts and that's what it is. So you sent us a before and after picture of someone who has been treated for maskne. What are some of the tricks and tips you found for healing or preventing maskne issues? I mean, first and foremost, make sure that you change your mask often. Like if you're in mask all day, make sure you have two to three masks with you that you can just change them. Another thing is, is good to use a 100% cotton mask. And the third thing what we do is actually using a shielding lotion like SkinMD Natural that will help you to create that barrier between the mask and your skin. So, um, and not only it's not only good for uh, preventing from friction from the mask, but also keeping all your good stuff inside your skin. It's like a protective shield that you can put. When I heard this uh, phrase maskne, I thought of teenagers having to wear their masks all day at school, but are there any more of us that would be more susceptible or prone to uh, having these breakouts? Absolutely. I mean, anybody who has oily skin, you know, if maybe you were having breakouts before and now it's triggered by the mask just because of that friction, it just like something is constantly irritating your skin. That's how you can look at it. So that's why, first, you know, first and foremost, make sure that you change your mask often and have a cotton mask and have something like a shielding lotion to put between your mask and your skin. Very good. It's one of the new parts that people are having to deal with as they have to wear their mask every day. We thank you for joining us tonight, Katya, and uh, we hope that folks don't break out with, again, what's now known as maskne.